Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your hashtag Better Together Devotion for today. And today I want to turn heads on the what I said yesterday in that we've been talking about salvation and sharing salvation and how we as United Methodists tend to put words in front of the word salvation so that we can understand a little bit more about this grace experience, this God action that is happening in our lives. And so we talked about prevenient grace, how God works before us and goes ahead of us, and it's all God's action. And yesterday I mentioned justifying grace as God working to fix us. Today I want to talk specifically about how that same justifying grace also calls us to do some human action that joins with God's action. You see, if God is working on fixing us, we as a human being have this choice at that point. We can choose to allow the change to take place in our lives, or we can resist the change that God is working with in our hearts. Now, the, the biblical words here are words that we know. We can repent or we can be unrepentant. We, we can be stiff-necked, if you will. You know, repent, a lot of times people think that word repent just means I'm, I'm going to stop doing what I did. I, pro I promise I'll never do it again. I know it was bad. I'll stop now. That's what a lot of people think. And, and that's a part of repentance is a turning around and turning from one path to another. But the way that Jesus spoke of repentance was more than that. Jesus spoke of repentance as the human action joining with God's action of forgiveness so that not only was God fixing us, but it was also us allowing and, and letting God's change to take over our whole life. You heard that right. Allowing God's change to take over our whole life. That's what repentance really truly is. It's allowing God to reshape, remold, redo all of our thoughts, all of our motives, all of our priorities. All that's within us now becomes something that we have turned over to God and say, God, here is my life. Help me make this life worth living. Help me make this life a life that makes life possible for others. Help me make this life make a difference. Help me have a life that's truly worth living. And that's what God does in justifying grace when we allow God's action to take place, when we allow God to fix us and we begin allowing the change to reshape our heart and mind. Now, what that means is that we've got to join with God's work. Well, God's already done some things. God's already been at work. God's, God's been doing amazing things. Just read the Bible. That's a part of justifying grace. You can, you can start looking at the Bible. Going to church and being with others who are trying really hard to find the direction in their life, that's a part of experiencing justifying grace. And asking God to, to not just keep you from doing what you used to do that was wrong, but God, where do you want me to go do things that are right? How do I go and, and start living life in such a way as, as a human being that you wanted me to be? You see, when Christ came and walked the earth, it wasn't just to go die on a cross. Jesus was also here to give us a moral atonement, to show us what life was truly meant to be like, that we could truly experience and see what being human was all about. I'm only human. Well, not really. I'm broken human. Jesus was truly human. Justifying grace helps us see this, helps us to, to join together in, in really experiencing God's fix and joining with God and allowing God's fix to change who we are. How have you changed? How has your faith in the past week, month, year, how has your faith caused you to look at something in a different way? If it hasn't, well then maybe you need to go and open the hood and let God tinker in your engine a little bit so that your engine might run a little better and so that we all might be a little better together. Open up yourself to God's change and live a repentant life that seeks God's way and rather than your own. This is Pastor Nathan Decker saying, go with God and allow God to make peace in this world through you.